Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Thief 2X, Shadows of the Middle Age. I'm Camchak Fisco. Come join me for a sneaksy adventure. Oh, hey, it's locked. Before we get to any more insane books... More gold! Yay! Okay. The pir a Pirate's Booty. How a, how a kiss kills a man to play in 2X. Okay, no, 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 I'm done. <laughs> and we're done. I'm not, no, no more. No more plays. <laughs> okay, same with this one. Sorry, guys, I just, no, no. I have to draw the line somewhere. It's here. <laughs> Under most circumstances, I will read everything that's in the game, but no, no, no. I have to draw the line somewhere. Chopping off fingers right now. Ah, oh, sweet Judas, Judas, I thought he was the other direction. <laughs> that made me jump. Tappers. Oh, so man, that made me jump. Oh, all right, guys, I'll read the other two logs. Ugh. A pirate's booty, singular events, or how, how a kiss kills a man, a play in two acts. Scene one, a Hammerite cathedral. Hammerites mill about doing their chores. Gords pauses, looking around, uh, looking around carefully. Narrator, this is a true tale, a tale of Brother Gords. A young girl poses, posing as a boy at the gate to gain, to gain entry to the Builder's favored, and how she gained the admiration and love of her brethren, and then was killed mysteriously in the old quarter. Her tale is one of the, is one of the most reviled by the Hammerites, though the story does not paint a foul picture of their tradition. Let us take you on a journey, probably because they feel they were deceived. Let us take you on a journey, the journey of a stubborn young woman who could not understand why her love for the Builder would not gain her entry into the most sanctified room. Skipping several pages. A pirate's booty, scene at ten. Gloria reaches out a hand. Oh, Izand, I cannot bear it without thee. Surely I shall surely waste away without thy handsome visage before me. Isand pulls away. I am a pirate, my dear Gloria, a man of action, a man of fortitude. I have no lust but for the open sea in gold. Gloria puts her puts the back of her hand to her forehead. No, do not say such things. Please, oh please take me. Isand, do with me as you will, you rascally fiend. Isand, no, I shall not, for you are a fair maid. Gloria, but thou art a pirate. Surely thou hast taken a fair maid to thy bedchambers? I have overheard thee by thy many conquests. Oh God, this is as bad as I thought it would be. Isand, nervously, no maid has entered my chambers. Gloria, forsooth, I do not believe mine ears. Isand, it is true, dear Gloria, for surely you do not wonder what it does it mean, any port in the storm. Next, upon the forest walks, scene four, act three. Carnelio places a hand over his heart, singing orchestra. My love, if only you could see, by your side is where I wish to be. These four are social secrets, dear. But I only wish to hold you near. Sorry, I, I apologize. <laughs> that was horrible. I apologize. Okay. And Delia turns away reluctant. I'm not singing the rest of this, just so you know. My lover, my lover, he ran away to war. My lover, my lover, burned me to the core. And now you say you love me, but what I what am I to believe? Can you can what you say to be true, or are you too here to deceive? Oh, I tripped over that. Cornelio grabs and Delia's arm, drops to one knee. I tell you it is true. In a battle I did fall. Then I hear your voice. A um, a, an alias stiffens, eyes wide. Okay, that was a weird sentence. She looks past Carnelio. She turns and clings to Carnelio. The orchestra ceases harshly. Carnelio, what is it? The great, what is that great beast? Does it enter this glade to consume us? Carnelio, smi uh, Carnelio smiles, slowly rising to his feet. No, my love, you must ex you must understand. In exchange for saving my life, the forest guardian made me one of his chosen, chosen as you shall be. Join me, my love, and forsake that which is human. Carnelio holds out his hand and leaves it leaves in his palm. So he's like a wood nymph? Leaf maidens leap onto the stage, surrounding the pair in a frenzied dance as the orchestra strikes up a frantic refrain. And Delia looks from his hand to his face to off stage. Yeah, okay, so I read those. That happens. We're, 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 we're carrying on. That No, no, no. There's no evidence. You didn't hear anything. That didn't happen. Nobody has any proof. Trying to sing to something that I don't know the rhythm or rhyme. Yeah, no. Bunch of tappers. 
So what if it's me? Dang it. Can I just, like, use a rope arrow and get up? This isn't working. Hit me up! Ow. Okay. There has to be a better way of getting out of here. So I can't just rope air to that. Can I... Is that wood? Can I rope air up there? Please? Okay, Shit. Nope! I'm gonna have to go over the railing. There's really no other way back. Or you got the front door, but that would be kind of stupid, so let's not do that. Okay, good. I'm hearing something. Shit. No, you didn't hear nothing. I guess. never heard that noise in a high for long. Shit, I'm making too much noise. This is not going well. Okay, so I was here. Oh, come on! Bunch of tappers. I'll get this right eventually. Alright, we'll just hide right here and wait until it's a little clearer. Okie dokie. So if I sneak down here... Can I squeeze past these guys and actually check the far side of this plaza? Because I really want to see if there's anything over here. Is it dark enough for me to get by? Hmm. What? Ooh, I think it actually was. I guess it was nothing. I hope it was nothing. It was nothing. Just a pigment of your imaginary emanation. The old smuggling cave. Oh, I know where we are now. Okay. So... I can't wait today. Who goes there? I just have to know if there's something over here. Ah, I saw that. Come out. Okay, there's absolutely nothing over there. Shit, there's an upstairs. There is something over there. Damn it! I, can't wait I don't know if that's the window, or if there's something else to that. That's what I'll do. I'll get a real bad. Some new clothes. Hey, who goes there? Nobody. You said nothing. Is this just another way into the damn building? <laughs> no, this is actually a second floor. Water arrow. Okay. That I constitute as being worth all this headache. Now I just need to squeeze by that jackass again. And we should be golden. Tell me he's still on his regular patrol and he's not investigating. Come on in, they need the water arrow. Okay, I think we're in the clear. I just gotta wait until the parade goes by. Hey, at least they're not accompanied by the orchestra. Then it would be really loud and annoying. Well, it may not be annoying, it depends on what they're playing. But yeah. I'm trying to be funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> You saw nothing. Go away. Sure, join up with the free traders. They said lots of adventure, lots of excitement. Yeah. All right, so we're back over to here. So this should just wrap around to the far side, right? Like I did the last time. Please tell me anybody we're gonna run into from here on out is actually just regular old guards. Okay, there's the letters from before. This would be where we originally entered the city. Wait a minute, is this the secret entrance to the cathedral? Because if it is... I'm like so out in the open here. Oh, good. We're back to regular guards. Good. <laughs> I prefer being able to knock out my victims rather than having to try to avoid them. This is the same... Yeah, okay, it is. Whoops, stop. Got a sweet tooth, visit the goodie bag, candy store, spice of life, kind of teacher, could fix for all ages. Um, yeah, we read that one before, I think. Why is it bright as the noonday sun out here, man? Uh, I guess it was nothing. 
Screw it. Let's extinguish some of this. We still got that overall light, but I'm hoping that will at least dim it somewhat. That didn't dim it for shit. Okay. We can at least... Okay, no, it did. A lot. It allows us to kind of eke by. It's not much, but it's something. The hidden entrance is supposed to be in the sewer, right? More pagan fruit witchery. So now we have healing fruits. Okay, can I get over to him? Okay, yeah, I can, but he's kind of aware of me right now, so I need to back up a tad. I need to wait until he's looking the other way. Okay, he's looking this way. I have to wait till he's looking the other way and then come around and ha ha! Someone there. Hello? Anyone? <laughs> Good idea, sir. Okay, take you, go throw you in the soft grass. So at least you won't wake up with more than a headache of getting cracked upside the skull with a hammer. I still think that's a jacked up knockout tool. <laughs> okay. So what the hell is this then? Well, we can pick it, so let's see what's in here at least. The other way's got to be the way to the frickin' cathedral. So what is this? Dina. Gale! For almost two, oh, for about two weeks now, I've noticed these darkly dressed, rough-looking characters coming and going on the street rail. I don't think any of them own shops around here, and hell if I know it, know where they go, where, the, where they go. <laughs> I'm doing great today. Hell if I know where they go. I haven't noticed anything strange around town, like the break-ins we had last winter. But still, makes me wonder. But it still makes me wonder. While I'm gone, you could probably get away with closing at noon. In the off-season, the only thing people come in here for is the gossip. I should have some juicy tidbits when I get back from the city. I'm hoping for a glimpse of this new Sheriff Truard, and to learn more about this mechanist group. I even heard that this Karras person was here to see our very own Brother Cavador last week. He's supposed- Oh, that's the same Brother Cavador. Okay, I didn't put that together. He's supposedly quite popular in the city, and Doris says his voice is rich and deep. Very romantic. I'll have lots to tell- Karras is not rich and deep. Okay. Take care, Dina. Karis's voice is not rich and deep. He sounds like a frog. Oh, hear the words of Karis. That's not rich and deep. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Now we just gotta sneak back by that weasel. And we're done here. We've done everything we can do. You know, I'm really curious. Is there anything to see from over here? No, just checking. Alright, so let's eek by this weasel. See if we can't get back to where we were without being spotted. <coughs> okay, so we're done with this sector. We've grabbed everything I've been able to see. As to whether or not there's more is another story entirely. Because every time we go back and watch my videos, I always see one or two pieces of loot that I somehow missed while playing. It amazes, how much, it amazes me how much my eyes focus on one part of the screen during certain situations, and I just am oblivious to anything else that's on the page. The page. The monitor. Atkins Pastries and Baked Goods. Sorry, my brain's not working at 100% right now. So, yeah, let's carry on. Great time to be doing a Let's Play, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, is this? Nope, that doesn't go anywhere. So we got to go all the way through and around, if I remember correctly. There's no quick way to the other sector. I guess technically there is if we go up and over, but eh. I'll, I'll, I'll take the scenic route. So I don't want to have to pull out the arrows, go up and over and around, and la 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 la. Too much of a pain to bite. <laughs> now when I can just go, ha ha, and we're there. Okay, so now we're back to the far side of the city, where we can knock everybody unconscious with ruthless fervor, almost like a hammer. The builder's hand! No, sorry. Channeling my inner fanatic. Okay, so we got this jackass. Who we could probably sneak up on if I can water air the uh, torch. Okay, it gives me a shitty spot to come up behind him. And I can just go, thanks for the healing potion, and. No. There we go. Okay, so we got a healing potion. 
And it's not the gray one, it's the yellow one, so apparently there's two versions of the healing potions. Nothing else up here, just checking. So the right goes around, and this way goes where? Does it just meet up with it? Well, I'm guessing that's the sewer entrance to, well, basically where we gotta go. Moss arrows. You know, we can get them to kill each other with the fancy new toys we have, but it's just so much more satisfying clubbing upside the head and knocking them unconscious, you know? But I'm sure there will be points where we won't just have free reign to just, you know, clunk, so it's only a matter of time before we actually get to try out the new arrows on, you know, a victim that will actually work on the mission won't fail. Okie dokie. So, we'll see where that goes in a second. I'm just curious about this little window here. So we got a bed, and ooh, a flashbang. Okay. That was worth it just for the flash bit. What the heck is that? What the... Mismatched texture. Okay. You know what? I'm curious. I'm just, I'm really curious. That's wood. What? I... Fails to understand. I don't know. I'm not sure what the heck that is. Okay, let's hop on down. Bust out the old hammer of head crackedness. There's two arrows here, aren't there? Or two torches here, aren't there? I don't know what everybody's complaining about. Yep, I'm gonna have to go the other way to finish taking this punk out. I'm okay with that. Okay, so let's just zip around real quick. Put the arrow away. Wait until we reposition and then take it out all tactical-like. Well, maybe not, but still. We can pretend. Yo, what was that over there? Nothing. You saw nothing. Good night. Okay. That's one less guard. Yeah, it was probably a waste of two water arrows and a normal arrow, but hey, I just like knocking everybody unconscious. It's kind of my thing. I don't know why it's my thing, but it's my thing. It's kind of always been my thing. Ever since I first started playing Thief, I've always taken a aggressive stealth approach. Which is kind of funny. I don't know how else to describe it, because I know from what I've seen other people... A real samurai, like the one you're drawing from. How dare the vile heathen? What sort of mother would allow a child to possess a book filled with crude renderings of the builder's creation? It is blasphemy. But, sir... Would that our order shone forth in its former glory? Bound forthwith and thrown into Craig's cleft prison, and the child taken into the order of the hammer, where he wants to be reared properly. How dare you! We're just here to see the smugglers den, not to be preached to on the street by some pajama wearing, overgrown religious nut. Come on, Tommy! I'm afraid you won't find any smugglers here, oh faithless one. Our magnificent order has driven them all There's always so much work to do. Uh, we could do something else. Those wacky hammers. Okay, we've knocked everybody out and put them off to the side, so she shouldn't run into anybody, because I don't want to knock a kid out. It's just messed up. <laughs> Let's make sure that they're not going to run into the guy we knocked unconscious. We've stashed everybody else. We should be good. Okay, which way are you two going? Uh-oh. They're going to this house. I never had a chance to search it. Uh-oh. I probably should have searched it when I walked by. I didn't even think twice about it. Well, the door's unlocked now. Is there a fire arrow over there? Let's hope not, because I'm not going in there. You two have a lovely evening. Sorry about stealing your vase. Just, you know, 
funding revenge. Okay, so that just happened. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, you all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoy them. You all take care of yourselves and if you want to see more of me, go over the video on the list or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below and please remember to tag that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well everyone.